In today's video, we're going to teach you how to identify which version of the AD&D Player's Handbook you have, whether that's something from your personal collection or a book you're looking at at the local bookstore. And once you figure out where to look, you're going to be able to do this every time in less than 60 seconds. Please stick around. Back with today's video, another episode of What is a Wednesday on our channel, Old School Rules where we celebrate the community of old school gamers and grognards who love classic RPGs, miniatures, magazines, and everything that goes with them. On our What Is It Wednesday segment, we help you identify a particular item that might be in your collection or you're interested in purchasing from your local bookstore or online. And today, that's the Advanced Dungeons & Dragons 1st Edition Player's Handbook. We hope you enjoy the video. Please stick around. So we're back for another edition of What Is It Wednesday here on our channel, Old School Rules, and today we're looking at AD&D Player's Handbook. Unlike the Monster Manual, this one's gonna be pretty straightforward and pretty simple to identify once we know exactly where to look. Here's the cover. Uh, unlike the Monster Manual, this cover stays the same for the first three uh, printings, and then we move to this cover, and finally to this cover. Uh, and then there's a soft cover edition again from the UK from Games Workshop. So when we want to identify the player's handbook, there's a couple key places you look. You look at the words Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, and where they're placed, and as you saw later there'll be a yellow bar in the top corner, and at the bottom you have a logo which is, starts off as being the wizard logo. You also have the end pages or fly leaves which are either orange, this sort of yellowish orange, or they're white. And then at the bottom you have, at the very bottom it'll say printed in the USA, and then it'll give you a printing and a date. And here's a blow up from the second printing showing you exactly what I'm talking about. That's the key place you need to look frankly to help you identify this page, the copyright page, to identify pretty much every issue or every edition of the player's handbook. See you have these sort of yellowish orange, I'll call them orange fly leaves, and then you have white. Those are the only two options here. So for the Player's Handbook, there are 10 different versions again, uh, but only three different types of covers and six different printings. Again, the key details, where do you look? You look on the cover to see where the words Advanced Dungeons and Dragons are placed and other language or text that might be around that. You look at the cover, uh, cover page or copyright page that shows you the printing and you, in a couple cases, can look at the end pages or fly leaves to get a more precise identification. Here's the first printing. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons at the top, Player's Handbook sort of down at the bottom, and the uh, wizard logo. And on the inside, you'll see at the bottom under Printed in the USA, there's nothing there. That's how you know it's the first printing. Now, for the first printing, you actually have what's called a true first, and that's gonna be white end pages and fly leaves, because that's the very first edition of the book that was put out. And then they quickly moved over to using those orange end pages and fly leaves, which you'll see for several printings going forward. The second printing, the exact same cover. So unlike the Monster Manual, not much in the way of precise identification can be made by looking just at the cover. In fact, only one printing can be identified that way. But then again, almost all the printings can be identified instantly by looking at the copyright page. Here's the copyright page of the second printing at the bottom, second printing, September 19. Uh, 78 and here's the detail just to show you again exactly what you're looking for third printing same cover now it says third printing at the bottom January of 79 fourth printing we switch to this with the advanced D&D &D in the yellow with the trademark and the word players handbooks at the top and inside again at the bottom fourth printing fifth printing same cover and now at the bottom fifth printing sixth printing same cover at the bottom, it says six printing and has some other things we'll look at very specifically here. So this is all the same in the sixth through the eighth printing. It says six printing January 1980. It now has the similar text we mentioned in the Monster Manual video where it's uh, being distributed by Random House and we added an ISBN number. So that's going to be again the same for six through eighth. So how do we tell those apart? Well, in the seventh printing, you see the same cover and the same copyright page, but now the end pages, the fly leaves, have become white. So sixth printing orange, seventh printing white. 
eighth printing is the one cover, one that you can identify just from the cover. It says Advanced D&D, and now under it says Adventure Games. And the logo has switched to the Wizard in the Moon TSR logo. Inside the copyright page, white fly leaves and the same text on this copyright page. And again, there's this UK version produced by Games Workshop. It's a soft cover, so you know instantly what it is. It looks like a first, second, or third in terms of the visual for the cover. The inside copyright page is slightly different, right? You see the wizard logo for TSR and this Games Workshop logo uh, as well. And then here's the chart. If you want to look at this, and I'll put this in the comments down below, that'll show you sort of the different details for these videos. And that's it. The Player's Handbook, as I said, the easiest of the three core books to identify by far. Um, and with that, I think you now know where to look and you can identify it every time, whether it's for your own collection or something you're interested in, in purchasing from a local gaming store or online. Hope you're enjoying this series. We'll be back with more next week. And until next time, my friends, keep rolling 20s.